Let's get a quick take on this bizarre story. The attack of a pregnant Longmont woman who was stabbed and then her fetus was removed. Uh, the fetus did not survive the attack. Patty Cahoon from Westford, this has been sensational news throughout uh, this last couple of days. Now, there are still some details that need to remain, th that remain out there. The coroner has not determined the time of death, and that determines a whole host of legal ramifications. So we're still in the time period taping at noon on Friday. We don't know what's going on of all those details, but just from what we know about the story, uh, what do you think? Uh, well, we know everyone is talking about it. It's mm -hmm. the water cooler discussion. We know the perpetrator is crazy. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's no other excuse for this. We know that the poor woman who was attacked is gonna suffer for the rest of her life. And we also know that the personhood campaign will be coming back again in Colorado. How many times have we defeated it, but it is going to come up again? Because no matter what the coroner decides, determines in this case, people will argue that the fetus should be protected and you should be able to charge murder, even if the fetus ne was not viable outside of the body. Right. Todd Shepard from CompleteColorado.com. Um, this is going, like, like Patty said, really uh, bring up the whole uh, personhood uh, argument again because last time personhood had a, uh, they really based their whole amendment on not really abortion rights, but it came down to the woman who was hit by a car and lost her uh, baby in, in that uh, situation. So do you think this is going to be another uh, angle to that argument? Absolutely, I do. And I, I guess, pardon me if this sounds too cynical, but any political cause can take a tragedy. And, and that's, so if we look at the gun control, obviously, and I'm not saying you, you're taking this tragedy out of context, but you can take the Aurora Theater tragedy or the Columbine tragedy and use that to forward gun control amendments. But if you think, it, it would just be out of your mind to think that a tragedy could literally illustrate the fine line between an unborn fetus murdering an unborn fetus and and where that line between that and a viable baby becomes. So absolutely, this will reignite the entire personhood debate in Colorado. Eric Sonnen, political analyst, uh, is it going to be too sensitive to be used as a political uh, angle for all this argument? No, I don't think so. I mean, it's very sensitive, it's bizarre, mm -hmm. it's incredibly sad what happened to this woman. I think it, to me it illustrates how both sides, I mean, we're talking about the abortion debate and how both extremes, both poles of that debate are rather extreme and are rather absurd. There is no doubt that a murder took place here. Now, whether based on what the coroner finds, it can be prosecuted as a murder remains to be seen. But this was a fully viable fetus a few weeks away from delivery with a mother who had no intention other than to deliver this baby and to, and, and, and to parent this child. And you know, to me, it's whether the pro-life movement gets so extreme when they think a couple zygots running around a test tube have all the rights of, to life. Yeah. And, but the, but the pro-choice movement loses me and gets equally extreme when they try making a case, which is fallacious in this technological day and age, that a fully viable fetus under a circumstance like this is anything other than, has anything other than those rights. Alicia Caldwell from the editorial page of the Denver Post. Uh, it's a bizarre story, but as from what we know right now, wrap it up for us. Um, well, there is a serious question as to whether this baby was alive um, uh, upon I guess delivery is is a way to to put it, even though it, that sounds really out of um, offbeat or uh, out of tune. Um, the in one of the police affidavits, apparently the husband of the perpetrator saw the baby take a few breaths, mm -hmm. gasp. Um, now, back in 2013, the legislature did take on this issue um, as a result of another fetal homicide, which was which involved a drunk driver and Heather Surowick, also from up in that area in Longmont. Um, so this, this law change will allow um, this woman to be charged with a very serious crime. So whether it's actually murder or a very serious crime, I think I saw 32 years she could get for this alternative crime, there's no doubt she'll be punished. It's just a question of exactly how.